this guy, like, he used to be vegan, which I don't understand how you can go from vegan to, like, hardcore meat like this dude did. Like, literally, he went, like, from vegan to eating nothing but meat. Like, most of his meals are meat or, like, cheese or everything. I guess cheese isn't that bad. I mean, he used to be a vegetarian and eat cheese, but, like, how do you go with just so much meat? But he's, okay, point being, he goes way too into his food like he is so happy about his grub like he he's almost, it's almost like a drug addict it's like watching a drug addict get their food like get their drug it's watching someone cook up their heroin of how he almost acts he's like oh, i got this i got this and he's got and usually like a whole like this is nothing this meal is nothing he's literally doing the twenty five thousand calorie challenge and i'm like no 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 like that's no and i Okay, so this is not something I usually admit to people because it's embarrassing. Like, it's funny. Like, it's more embarrassing for a fat girl to admit this than to, for, like, a skinny girl to admit it. But I have an issue with food. And I feel like anyone that's overweight, like, more than, like, 100 pounds or supposed to be weight kind of thing, has some kind of issue with food. Be it just portion control or be it an actual eating disorder. I definitely, like, I have a binge eating problem. Um, I don't binge and purge, but I definitely binge. I used to binge all the time. Like, when I was depressed, it was either drugs, food, drugs, food, drugs, food. And that's why this guy bothers me so much. Because you can tell that, like, the way he's acting with this food is not a known person that acts with food. Like, he's, like, really into the food. And it's, like, it reminds me so much of watching a drug addict. Like, 100%. Food is his drug. Like, he is not a happy person. And food is how he, you know, fills that hole, if you will. And, like, I was the same way. Like, I used to be so depressed and so just alone that, like, literally, I would just, if I couldn't get my drugs, or if I got my drugs, I was just, just before I did, like, harder drugs, or if I couldn't find harder drugs, I would smoke an obscene amount of pot, like, blunt, 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 like, at least three blunts down, and go to, like, Taco Bell and spend 20 bucks and gorge, and then feel like a horrible person for the next, you know, week or so, and, you know, beat myself up for it, but that's what I would do. And I've been able to sort of, you know, kick drugs, if you will, kick the heavy drugs, and, um, not been just much. I, I do catch myself sort of like when I'm like, she, like she leaves for work and I'm like home alone, but I'm like, Ooh, I can go. And it's just like, this is not a normal thought process. Most people don't think that way, but like I live my life. I always sort of like hit how I ate. Like I don't never like people watching me eat ever because I feel like being a big girl, they're always judging like what you're putting in your plate kind of thing. And like, I never, you can still ask Shane, like I never finish food. Like, if there's one piece of something left in the fridge, I won't finish it. I don't ever finish a meal. If there's, like, leftover fucking food, I won't eat it because I don't want to finish the food. Like, I want Shannon to finish it because I feel like... And it's funny, like, I try really hard to be confident, and for the most part, I really... I feel like I am. I try not to be one of those, like, feel bad for me because I'm fat girls because, no, I'm I'm fat because of me, and I'm trying to, you know, get over it, but this is something I struggle with. And, um, so yeah, when I'm, like, sad or even when I'm just, like... I don't know, like, I guess because, like, I, I don't want to say it's a drug to me, but I guess it's sort of like a drug to me. Like, it's the same kind of, because it even says, like, there's studies that, like, food, like, certain food also, like, raises the same, like, sort of, like, dopamine that certain drugs do. But, anyway, I, I try not to. It's usually only when I'm, like, super depressed, and I still do very small binges compared to what I used to do. Like, I used to, you know, spend 20 hours talking about and gorge and eat so much food that's when my stomach's going to explode. Now, like, it's not normal to eat a lot of food like that in one sitting. It's not normal. These fucking mukbang channels that I found that, like, how this is all fucking started. And I feel like I should make another video in just the mukbang channel, um, which is what that guy is, is part of. I'll explain what mukbang is. Mukbang is pretty much people who eat, like, an obscene amount of food on the YouTube for you. I don't understand it. But that's the thing. Like, it, to me, 100% when I see this, it's like binge eating. Like, 100% you were binge eating. This guy started about seven months ago, and you can tell he's gained at least 40 pounds. Because that, he's really sad, and that people are just egging him on like in his comments like I know everybody wants to be YouTube famous or whatever but I feel like that was like his niche like he was a vegan YouTuber he wasn't that popular and now because of these mukbangs like I feel like a lot of people with with binge eating disorder or with eating disorders in general like you're starving yourself or whatever will watch these mukbangs and be like either like not triggered but feel like they well you're triggered I guess I hate that fucking word but triggered or, you know, watch that instead of eating kind of thing. But there's people, like, he always put down in the comments, like, okay, well, what do you, what do you guys want to see me eat next? And, like, people have all this stuff. And it's like, <sighs> what pleasure do you really get out of watching someone else, like, gorge themselves? You know, and he lives in Columbia, South America, which is a very poor area. So it's like, that money, man, you could be seriously going and, like, helping other people. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Like, I feel like everyone's egging, egging on his eating disorder. This place is called the Heart Attack Grill. And, like, they're, they're known for, like, their crap. Like, they literally eat a bunch of junk food. 
And I guess apparently do that. Okay, Shrek Daddy. It's kind of the heart attack girl. Um, they're known for like their obscenely unhealthy food. Like that's what they're all about. And like, okay, that's a cute idea. Like, cool, whatever, you know, whatever, right? That sucks. There's no toilet in a place like that because you think that all that meat is gonna fucking fuck you up. But look, it's all like lard and just flatliner fries. Oh my god, ugh. And if, okay, I do want shots of vodka in a food bottle. Anywho, point being. Now, this is somewhere really cool to go to. Like, if I was in New York, I mean, uh, Las Vegas, where this was, I would totally go to this place. But after eating all that food and then go to this, like, for your dinner, like, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? You're a binge eater. That's what's wrong with you. You're a binge eater. So I actually want to see what it looks like when he actually eats. That's what he's eating. This is someone who used to be a vegan. And now, like, okay, first of all, like, I like junk food. I ain't acting like I don't. But this actually makes my stomach hurt just watching. Like, I would never, oh, that's a lot of meat. But yeah, how could you have gone from vegan to that unless you were only vegan for the uh, weight loss benefits? Which is fine, I guess, if that's what you're vegan for. But just eat a healthy diet then. You don't need to be vegan. Because even though he was vegan, it was not for the animals. It couldn't have been for him to be able to go to animal stuff to this. But it also, like, I mean, I don't know. I don't understand, like... From what I, I saw in his old vegan videos, which you can't really f oh god, ugh. From what I saw in his old vegan videos, he ate nothing but like potato chips and stuff, so that wasn't super vegan anyway, so. Who fucking knows? I mean, he just has a very unhealthy eating, but like, this is, there's no way this is a normal way to live your life. That is the mo- ah, oh, Jesus god. That is fucking disgusting. I can't even.